Hello, one and all, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 2. I am the Max Few Trades. In the last part, we got into a lot of uh, hairy situations, to put things in the most mild of terms. But, ultimately, by definition, we did, in fact, actually persevere and succeeded. And now we actually never have to go back to the Awakening Wood ever again. That entire area is complete forever, and we never have to think about it. So that's pretty swell. In this part, we're going to be jumping over to the perplexing pool, and who knows what kind of crazy nonsense we're going to be getting ourselves into this day. Probably something involving the aquatic, if we're being real with ourselves here. All right. And we've got touchdown. I always enjoyed how Olimar and Louie are just kind of forcibly ejected from the... From the, from the ship, it's almost like the landing launches them out, and then they just tumble out. Always found that to be amazing. Alright, so, if I may quickly refresh myself, I've got 82 blue Pikmin. I know I've got enough red Pikmin for days, I don't need to worry about that. And we're not doing so great when it comes to the yellows. Let's see, how many of the you guys do I got? I've got enough to do the special thing. Alright, hang on. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll just bust out 20 of every single color. And we will probably get one of the game's most well-known secrets that barely even really can be called a secret. <laughs> I feel like it's just one of those things that probably anybody who's ever played this game did involuntarily. But if you have 20 of every single color, because 20 is, you know, the most of every single amount you can have while also it's still being equal, it, then in theory, they should start singing themselves a little tune, different than the usual one. Get over here, you nerd. Alright, so you guys gonna sing it all, or... Anybody feel like singing a tune? No? Alright, well, I'll bring you all... There you go! They sang the little tune. Ah, oh, good for them. Oh, Lord! It's a bunch of these fellas. Don't try to fly away, you absolute jackasses. How dare ye! Come on, get over here! Get over there! Wait, so, so wait, somebody's dying? How is somebody dying? What the crap? There were more of them, apparently! What the- Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me with that. Ugh, alright, well. I think we're taking one thing to the blue and one thing to the yellow? Yeah, alright. That's enough to at least get the numbers that we just lost back. How incredibly stupid and lame was that? Ugh, oh well. Suppose it is what it is. You gotta, you gotta keep a watchful eye on literally everything at all times, or else you just never know when something bad is gonna happen, I swear. Alright, well, we don't have the exact numbers anymore, which is kind of annoying. But we, 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 we can fix that, we can fix that. Alright, how many yellows do I have? I got 50, I got 21 of those. Alright, then you go back up in there, you little, you little doofus. There you go. And we got that, so, boom, there you go. And they already begin singing about it all over again. Good for them. Good for the little ones. All right, then. All right, so as it turns out, it seems they actually do this a bit more often than I thought they did. Well, <laughs> wow, they just do it all the damn time, don't you guys? All right, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so what if I wanted this thing to be the deaded? Right, we'll wait for that, and then... We swarm them, and everybody who's on fire, stop being on fire. There we go, there we go, and is everybody still alive? Everybody is still alive. All right then. Just, uh, yeah, might as well go for it. <laughs> go for it, bolster those numbers a little bit more anyway. I know a few of those are going to the reds, but th it's the red pellets. It makes the most sense for them to go. Besides, we need, we need some berries anyway. It's all good. It doesn't really matter how we spend exactly our, our time leading up to going into a dungeon. We just need to make sure that we do that properly. All right, so, okay, well, I was gonna actually set off to do something specific, but if there's gonna be a snitch bug in the way, hang on a second here. Hey, you stop that. You stop that, you big nerd. You stop that right now. There we go, swarm him. There we go. What are you gonna do about that, jerk? Literally nothing, because you're dead, that's what. And now, off to the reincarnation machine with you, ha <laughs> ha. 
All right, so I wager that we got rid of all the things that could conceivably be murdering all of the Pikmin, so I don't think there's any worry about... Ah, ah, da, ba, ba, ba. There's any worry that they're going to die on the way of getting stuff. All right, I see all y'all. I see all y'all trying to mess everybody's business up. We ain't having none of that. Absolutely none of that. All right, day's half over. Unfortunate that. What I find weird is that these creatures don't seem to actually die. They just, just shove them into the onions anyway. Very strange, that. But all right, I see you over there. I guess you just beat them into complacency, for lack of a better term. Very strange, that. All right. Might as well get what we can when it comes to the, the, the bitter spray. It may not be great for what I thought it was great for, but it, it's still good in case we need to, you know, off some of our enemies. <laughs> or at least, you know, I mean, stop them so that they don't attack us. It's good for escaping purposes, if nothing else. I never told you guys to go back up the dang stocks. Yeah, absolute dorkasses. All right, now, I guess, Olimar, you hold on to every one of the Pikmins. Make sure nothing terrible happens. I would like to take a quick looksie loo back on over to the Glutton's Kitchen. I'd like to check to see what specifically it would like us to have. It has been a wee bit since I'd actually checked, so... I, want, I, I don't want to end up bringing a bunch of Pikmin that we don't actually need. Like, if there's no water in there, there's just no point in bringing blue Pikmin, you know? Alright, and then we got you. Okay, what are we looking for? Mostly just electricity. Okay. So then, theoretically, I could just bring a horde of yellow, white, and purple Pikmin. I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm actually okay with that idea. Oh dear, there appears to be a bunch of ne'er-do-wells once again. Alright, it seems they've all come back to life. Very unfortunate, very unfortunate. You hate to see it, you hate to see it. Now they're burrowing out from the grounds. Lordy loo, lordy loo, they certainly do be seeming to have themselves a bit of a, a, a fancy time. Wow, the berries grow back faster than I thought they did. Oh my goodness. All right, well, I've got enough for now. I can I can worry about getting more of the sprays at a later time. Right now, I feel like we've done more than enough when it comes to nonsense that doesn't really equate to literally anything. Let's actually go out and do some exploring and stuff. All right, all y'alls, get yourselves over here. All y'alls, get yourselves over here. All right, all right. Now, blues and reds, I'm going to ask you all to go back. It's the yellow's time to shine. Because I actually, I don't remember every single cavern perfectly, but I do remember... Yeah, the, the Glutton's Kitchen actually does have a pretty considerable amount of electricity in it. No reason to not go all in. Plus, you know, the, the whites and purples are always just fantastic all-purpose Pikmin to have in any situation. All right, so... Here's hoping we can actually swing by and maybe get that nectar to fall out of that one... That one weird honey wisp creature thing. I'm... I, I don't remember what it's called. I, is it a honey wisp? I feel like it can't be a honey wisp because that sounds like a breakfast cereal. <laughs> and breakfast cereal and bugs are words that I would desperately like to not have any kind of association with. All right. Well, hang on. Though. Wait, 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 there's a bunch of eggs right there. There's also one of these dudes. All right. Let's let's just get rid of you. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Swarm up. Swarm him up. Murder his face. There we go. Let's make him regret ever having a face. And no, 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 no. As tempting as it may be, little fellows, we do not actually have the time to waste carrying corpses about. All right, there we go. There we go. Drink up the nectar, little ones. Come on, now. There we go. That wasn't everybody, but it was more than what we had before. So we'll take it. We'll take it. All right, so I believe I just got to go right over yonder. Did you really fall over, little one? My goodness. Oh, Lord, it's a Wally Walker. All right, well, I'd rather not deal with a Wally. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Drinking the nectar! There we go. That actually might be everybody now. If it's not, I can't see any leaves. So that works for me. All right, hop to it, everybody. We've got a kitchen that belongs to a glutton that we are now going to raid. It's a pantry raid. There we go. That makes sense. That's a way better thing. I should have I should have come up with that idea faster. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes you can't come up with the smartest of ideas right when you need them, and they only come a little bit later. Although for a kitchen, I gotta be perfectly honest. I always felt this place looked more like I don't know a children's play place. Just throwing that out there. Also, my word, there are a lot of little blurbs, or at least you know little blurb intim int int imitators. Not Im imitation. Wait, no. 
Imitator. What was the word that I was going to say that was wrong? My brain is all over the place today. All right, well, don't mind me, everybody. I'm just your regular garden variety stupid today. You don't got nothing to worry about on that on that front. I just want to make sure to kill all these dudes before they get a chance to eat everybody. There we go. When in doubt, throw a fat person at their head. It's just kind of, that's always been my motto. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Didn't want to mess that one up. And no, 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 no. Nope, nobody dies. Nobody is getting eaten today. All right, now let's also, just for the sake of it, let's let's carry all their bodies away now. All y'alls, just so we don't get ourselves all confuzzled. Or maybe I'll, like, turn the corner, think there's a bunch of enemies when it turns out, nay. Was but a, a gigantic pile of corpses. This game is a little more morbid than you would anticipate. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Interesting that there are just paths that lead to nothing. I feel as if the odds of some sort of horrifying doodad showing up and trying to blow us all up. You never know when a rock from the sky is going to fall down and just start exploding. All right, well, I saw a tiny one. I saw you. Let's see if we can maybe kill you. So that I don't have to worry about throwing my Pikmin over there. Oh, Lord. There, yeah, okay. Woo, woo, woo. All right, that was a close one. That was a fine situation. Oh, oh I didn't even notice the ramp up there. That's convenient. All right, then. Well, yo. Little one, go ahead and just grab hold of that. There you go. You're not too swift, I admit. But I've decided to give you the, the benefit of the doubt. Although why you have to make such a bizarrely gigantic U-turn is a bit beyond me, if I'm being perfectly honest. My goodness, you you really are not very fast. All right, hang on. We'll get some get some other Pikmin on there to help you out. There we go. Okay. With the power of a few yellows, you're able to get a little bit more hitch in your giddy up and what have you. All right, now come on now. I'm not sure. Is that chalk? Considering the chalk drawings all over the place, that was my assumption. Not sure what else, what other kind of artistic tool would be this. But yeah, hang on, it's, uh, oh, Peach Pink! Oh, I see the reference they want, what and gone, gone with there. I mean, you know, obviously aside from the whole Mario Paint thing. Obviously I knew about that. All right, it appears one of my Pikmin is... All right, that's not what I wanted to do. One of my Pikmin appears to be not with me right now. Where? Hello? Little one? It says I've only got 99 Pikmin with me out of my 100. Where are you? Are you are you, are you stuck in there? Okay, apparently you were. All right. Whatever. What? What? At, you know what? I'm not gonna complain as long as I didn't end up losing one of my Pikmin's. You know, for reasons that I completely did not comprehend. I'm okay with it. But please try to, you know, be, if you're gonna get lost, make where you're lost more obvious for me. <laughs> I have a radar that can detect you, and it could not find you, so... Either that, or I just wasn't looking closely enough. I'm sure if I actually looked again, I probably would have actually seen it. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't matter. Don't matter none, don't matter none. Alright, aha! A bread bug! As you might be able to tell, as it looks like an li actual living pile of bread. Alright, so here's the first conundrum. Bread bugs are annoying because if they get a hold of treasure, they can bring them over to their little dens. And if they do that, then you can't get them back. So on floors that have bread bugs, you need to find them and kill them to the best of your ability. Before... Yeah, oh, see, that one's already going off trying to do something. It, it, it's, it's a bug on a mission. I know not what it's trying to find. All right, hang on a second here. How about we do that? It doesn't necessarily have to be a treasure that it's looking for, but it needs to be something. It, it just needs to be something that you can carry over to the, uh, to the, to, to the onion, really. The thing is... You can't actually kill one of those breadbug creatures normally. Like, you can throw whatever Pikmin you want at them, and it's going to do absolutely nothing. Which is an issue, so... Is it possible to... Yep, it is! It is, it is, it is! It is, it is, it is! It's trying to tr drag over the body. All right, but let's not. There you go. What you want to do, the tricky part is, is you got to basically play tug-of-war with the little dude. And they're going to try and grab it, and then you got to bring it over to the... Well, not the onion, but the spaceship. And if you do that... It'll get brought up with it. 
slam its head on the wall and mostly die, but not all the way. That's odd. I thought I, I remembered it dying all the way. Hang on. Can you not? Just making sure that you act. Oh, you can do damage to them. That's weird. Why did I think you couldn't? Huh. Well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. I guess that's just one way that you can conceivably kill the bread bug monster. All right. Well, that's uh, that's all well and good, I suppose. Okay. Now, little dude, if you could just get yourself back over here. That's gonna be a bit of an issue. All right, hang on here. Aha! You're trying to take that thing, are you? Well, I mean, there's really no reason to stop you, but I've decided to not. Oh boy, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nope, nope, actually, nope, never mind. You can keep it. You can totally keep that. If the bread bug wins its proverbial tug of war, uh, yeah, it can, um, it can, it can just kill your Pikmin by dragging them inside their burrow. Let's see, if you, yeah, I guess if you hit them with the purple Pikmins, like, hard enough. I know that you just, you can't swarm them because their bodies are too, like, rotund and, and, and bulky. So they, like, they take no damage from, from being, like, bopped for the most part. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Gotta get rid of all that. Luckily, it looks like they're actually trying to ease us into this situation. The only treasure that appears to be in this entire section is up there. And it looks like it's a Cinnabon. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So they're not letting the bread bugs be somewhere that they can obviously go and grab an actual important treasure. Because then you'd actually have to go through the whole thing again. Boy, howdy, would that be a pain. All right, then. So let's just continue to... Oh, God, I forgot. It can totally heal. All right, so that's an issue, obviously. Okay, well, how about this? Purple Pikmin, are you strong enough to take it with you? Yeah, you are. All right, that's all it takes. You can only have one of those... You can only have one Pikmin grab one of those shear grubs at a time, so I was wondering, if I took one of the stronger ones, maybe that would have been good enough. Turns out, it totally was. And as it's already mostly dead, we don't really have too much to worry about. It's just going to bonk its head and die instantaneously. Again, maybe I'm doing this all for literally no reason. That's very possible. Are none of these bread bugs actually holding a treasure inside them? No, this one might be. This one might be. That might be the case. Hang on a second here. Hang on here. Hang on here. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, don't take that. Don't take that. Don't take that. Let it take it. Or not. It, it seems to have given up on that idea entirely. Oh, I know. It's not inside. It's up there. Oh, my bad. My bad. My bad. All right. Yellow Pikmin, if you'd be so kind as to go over yonder. There you go. All right. Well, eventually, bread bugs have treasures inside of them, and you need to kill them in order to get them out. You've seen lots of, you know, Pikmin enemies do this so far, where they've, you know, for lack of a better term, just kind of straight up ate the treasure, and you got to kill them to get the food, get, get the treasure out of their stomachs. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. Grab the baked good. There we go. All right. I suppose this is really just a good warning for for later because eventually like you could be your Pikmin could be bringing the treasure over there but a bread bug will come and try to take it and if they don't have enough strength they won't be able to bring in them they'll just get dragged down to the bread bug hole and die and freaking a yoo-hoo talk about sodas that I don't think are even a thing anymore lordy 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 loo there we go might be a cinnamon roll might not be or just an imperative cookie. I guess it could just be a cookie with a swirl in it. It doesn't look soft or gooshy enough to be one of those. You know, a cinnamon roll. That's unfortunate. Because those are delicious. I have a low sugar tolerance, but I can still enjoy one or one or two before I can't have sugar for another two weeks. Alright then, so that's everything. We are out of here. I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't do anything fancy or, or nothing with the bread bugs on the first floor where you're more than most likely to be introduced to them. But going ahead, you, you need to figure out if they're around and deal with them pretty quick. Lest you be dealing with some pretty serious problems in the future. Of that, I assure. Because I don't want to have to jump back into these places if I don't got to, you know? Alright, that's in case you didn't bring any yellow Pikmin with you for whatever reason. I haven't the slightest clue why you would ever do that. The game made it very, very clear. Something else that's also, that's pretty important and worth noting is that bread bugs, in absolutely no other way, can they harm any Pikmin at all. 
They really do just like stealing stuff. That's just kind of their thing. You'd think this giant hawk and tambourine would be a treasure. You really would. Alright then, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to toss my pickymins up here. There we go, and then I'm going to swarm them all over your bod. Okay, very rude, very rude, very rude. Hey, Pikmin! Come on! Get over here before they blow all of the petals off of you. There we go. I know it's because it has like an aerosol inside of it or something or another that wilts the flowers, but I always just assumed it was the air pressure knocking the petals off. That always made way more sense to me. There we go. There we go. Kill the monster, as ye do, as ye do. And then you're going to try and take it, right? Well, I see no reason why you should be able to do that, so... <laughs> let's just, let's just take care of that. If absolutely nothing else, it's just nice to not have to worry about them in any regards, you know? And then we'll bust out the purples, and that should be enough to finish you off entirely. There you go. Okay. Oop. Whoopsie doopsie doopsie doo. I just want to bring the yellows with me. Don't want to bring anybody else, otherwise they might get electro zapped. And ain't nobody want that in their life. There we go. There we go. All right. Takes care of business. At least the designers were kind enough to program all of these areas with, with their really weak like walls and barriers with like these slopes so Pikmin can run back over them if you throw them over there. Because when you're panically throwing around your Pikmin like that, it's gonna happen. It's just gonna happen. All right then, let's get rid of as many of these electrical wall thingies as possible, just in case any of our Pikmin decide to wander into a direction that they very much shouldn't have. Always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to stuff like this. All right. Is that bread bug already doing something over there? No, it's not. It's just looking around for something. But it will find nothing. There we go. You can't do nothing! That's the problem with the zappy beetles. If they've only, if there's only one of them, they can't really do much of anything. There we go. I, if the bread bug really wants to drag these things around, yeah. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Whatever keeps you busy, I guess. Once more with style! Here we go! Not really seeing much in the way of treasure. Oh, there it is right there! There's a treasure! Can't believe I completely missed that. There we go. And this fellow seems to want to take that. Alright, well, I've decided that no. I diagnose you with big time dead. And that's just kind of the way it's going to have to be, I'm afraid. There we go. And they should be safe in pretty much any other way. So yeah, it should be it should be okay for them to grab this. There you go, little dudes. As many of you as possible. Only 30. It would be nice if you could have actually let all 40 of them do it. But whatever. Alright, then I'll have the rest of them do stuff like that. There we go, alright. We'll go over here. Grab these other Pikmin, just to be on the safe side. Dragging over that bread bug. Wanted to just make absolutely certain that we end up getting rid of the bread bug. I mean, if we're going to bring it to near death, we might as well bring it to all the way death, you know? Seems fair. Seems right. Don't want to leave a job half finished finish and what have you. There you go. That takes care of that. Sure does take a long time to actually let itself die, though. It's got a lot of, it's got a lot of hoompa. So, you know what? I, I can appreciate that. It's got a desire to not be the deaded, even if it doesn't actually get a choice in the matter. Uh, are you guys having trouble or something? Oh, no. <laughs> the, 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 the camera angle made it look like they actually hadn't gone anywhere. I thought, I thought they were going in circles for some reason. The answer to that was a resounding nay. But was that really the only treasure there was to be found on this floor? Very strange, that. Bum -ba -da -bum. Look at this doodad. Only 100 Pocos. Director of Destiny! Sure, why not? Oh no, there is in fact another treasure around these here parts. Fascinating! Alright, well, it appears as if we've gotten rid of all the electrical stuff. And is this a secret? No, it is not. It is just an alternate path like so many before it. Most unfortunate, that. Alright, all y'alls rejoin. All y'all's rejoin, I done just said. My goodness, my goodness. Alright, let's see if we can actually get ourselves a wee bit of nectar. That'd be good. 
A few of the yellow Pikmin's managed to end up losing it. There we go. All right, now I think there's only like... Oh, no, actually, next to none of you were able to get that. Unfortunate. All right, well, let's take a quick scans over. There's so many things in here that ordinarily you'd think would be treasures, like the little hammer, the xylophone, the tambourine. None of that is treasure, apparently. Go figure, huh? Oh, it's whatever this thing is, some sort of clackety doodad. How did I miss that? It was, was it was it always just right there? Must have mistook it for something in the background or something. Wow, you guys edged that way too close. Why exactly? Why exactly did you do such a weird turn over there to make sure you almost got electrocuted? Good lord. I didn't bother with that one because I thought it wasn't going to play a role in anything, but as you just saw, you never know where the Pikmin are going to choose to go. It's so weird. Nothing they do make any sense. And here's hoping that they're only going down this path because I got rid of all the barriers. My god. I, I, I love me as my little Pikmin friends and all that good stuff, but... My goodness, they are not too bright some of these days, I swears. Behold, some kind of doodad. The harmonic synthesizer. Is this like one of those castanelinets? Is that a thing? I'm pretty sure I said it wrong, but I'm, I think I said it right enough for someone to be able to go, no, idiot, it's pronounced this. So I, I, I think I was able to get that far at least. So that's good. All right, come along now, come along now. That's all there is to do on this particular floor, so we're gonna move on, move on, move on, move on. What new horrors await us? Probably more electricity and bread bugs, if I'm being entirely honest with you. The odds seem pretty high of that. Glutton's Kitchen! Whoa! Yep, well, there's a bread bug hole, so that right out the gate. Alright, yon bread bug has decided to do yon thing. The question is, what has it decided to go and try to get? It seems to be a bug on a mission, but it's also going towards a dead end, so it looks like that's actually not the case. So that's handy dandy for everybody, mostly me. As I murder this thing, there we go. Oh lord, it's a biggin! It's a biggin and because- oh, and it's not even napping! It's a biggin and it ain't napping and it is- it is- oh, that's- That is always the worst case scenario. Alright, luckily it's big and fat and stupid, so it doesn't actually know what to do or how to get over to us, so... Don't gotta worry too much about that, at least not this exact moment. If I could sneak up up behind it, I could hit it with, uh, with the purples and stun it and everything. That'd be pretty great. Ah! Alright, never mind! It's mad that I made- I said it was big and fat! It's mad that I said it was big and fat! It's big and fat, big and fat, you're a big fat fatty fat, and I don't care, I don't take it back, I don't take it back! You think I'm gonna take it back just because you're about to barrel down on me and murder my face? I don't think so! Nuts to you and all of your family! Oh boy, yep, I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, yep, 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 yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm aware of all of the follies. All of the follies I've made in my life, I'm aware of all of them, I assure you. <laughs> I assure you I feel big and dumb and stupid, alright. But I'm not fat! Not that there's anything inherently wrong with that. Oh god, I'm just... I'm just being absolutely the worst in all the ways today. Alright, well... <sighs> apologies, apologies! See, that's what you, you know, that's a little thing we like to in the business like to refer to as karmic justice. Make fun of your enemies like that, and you know what happens? They they end up finding a way to mess up your business. That's just how it is, 100% of the time. Well, for some people they're able to get away with it incredibly easily. For people like me, no. And by people like me, I guess I just mean me. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I I long time viewers, you all know that the second I manage to get even the tiniest, ittiest, bittiest, ittiest, little tiny bit cocky in any regard, everything goes horribly wrong. There we go, 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 there we go. Wow, we actually managed to do that without anybody dying. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh God, I completely forgot, that's right, that's right, I forgot. Bulborbs of that type will straight up revive themselves. No, no you don't. Yeah, I forgot. Big bulborbs. Th their health slowly recovers. If you don't get rid of their bodies, they come back to life. Oh, that is the worst. So, yeah, obviously, in this particular instance, bring them back to the ship. Considering the fact that he's not actually breaking them down and is, in fact, 
I don't know, like, just storing the corpse in the hull? There doesn't seem like the. <laughs> it's funny when it's in a cutscene! Squirt! The happiness emblem. But considering it's just hanging out in the hull, you'd think it would come back to life that way, you know? Anyway. There we go. Just take care of that. And there is, in fact, another treasure around these here parts. Is it that? Is it the cup? Yo, Mr. Cup, are you a, you a treasure? You are a treasure! Alright, hang on. I will toss over many a friend over there to help you. There you go, little ones. That looks to be just about the best thing to do. Anyway, again, as I was saying, the moral of the story is, don't make fun of your enemies. And at the very bare minimum, if you did make fun of your enemies, as they're chasing you down, attempting to murder you, maybe don't resolve with, I'm, <laughs> with by yelling at them, I'm not sorry, I'm not sorry, you are big and fat and stupid. M maybe don't do that. Maybe just don't do that. We call that either karma or hubris or some combination of the two. Either way, regrets. I've got some. Anyway, the invigorator. I don't know why it absolutely has to be upside down. Also, there appears to be another treasure? All right. Well, I'm going to tell you right here and now, everybody. If you happen to go near a bread bug hole and see the treasure radar go off, you'll know that they got something in there and you were too slow and now you are a fool. However, it appears that that is not the situation that has happened here. All right, come on. Come on. There you go. Sheesh. Yellow Pikmin are so finicky when it comes to the way that you... That you, uh, you, you actually are able to throw things up on the top ledges. Because the way that they're programmed is they're just supposed to only just barely be able to get up there. So you have to be at, like, the most perfect angle possible. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. And now, come on, come on. Hop two, three, four. Hop two, three, four. Olimar and Louie are dying here. We're dying over here. We're dying. Oh, Lord. <laughs> not... Not where I was, not, not, not actually what I was attempting to do, but funny nonetheless. Nevertheless, we got ourselves some white goodness, apparently. All right. All right. Hey, dup, 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 dup. All y'all. All y'all's everywhere. Knock that off. I was just trying to make myself a little bit of a, hunt, a funny haha -ha guffaw type moment. But you guys went and got all serious on me, thinking that we were the corpses and that you were going to bring us to your reincarnation machines. It's no such thing. That ain't happening. And it's interesting that the Pikmin know to bring them over to the ship thing, even though that's not the onion. I guess I could say the same, you know, with the first game and the ship parts. They, they can tell the difference, apparently. Very interesting, that. Alright, so we've got a bunch of U's. That is not great. Oh, God, we've got that. That's an even less great. Some might call that the worst grade of them all. Alright, well, first things first... We do that. If I'm gonna be dealing with this thing. Yeah, like like that, 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 like that. Well, that was far too many more Pikmin dying right there than I was mentally prepared for. Alright. It was a lot of purple ones. Oh dear. Okay, alright, okay. So far, we've lost seven. At least I lost... At least those ones got lost to a, a suitably difficult enemy. We've still got some with us, so that's good. Ugh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The thing is, if I were paying more attention, doing better, I, I, I could have I could have made up for that. I really could have. I could have accounted for it. I need to be a better strategist. I need to be a better leader. I need to be a better father to my men. That's what I need to be. Oh, that's the problem. I was playing as Louie. There we go. It wasn't my fault. It was Louis. Obviously. He says, knowing that it was actually his fault, but is merely trying to make the bit continue. All right. So, seems to just be a big bunch of bulb orbs and, or, you know, imitations. Not a whole lot else. All right. Well, if that's the case. Oh, no, you don't, you jerkwad. No, 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 no. As tempting as it may be, my friends, we are not on the... We are not on the path to being able to... Oh, no. All of you run! Okay, wow. All right. We'll take that. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. 
Okay, fine. You know what? You guys want to bring the bodies over there? Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Just grab it. Grab it and run. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. All right, yeah. You guys just do all that. In fact, you should all be perfectly safe over here, right? Right. Okay. All of you can be safe over there. All of you can be safe over there. Good lord. God damn it, Nathaniel. I love you too, but my go. All right, so... Maybe if we just sort of do something like this. Yeah. Hey, come on. Come on, Tubsy Wubsy Obsy Obsy. There we go. Come on. Bomb at the rock and murder the monster. Thank you. It's, it's not that hard. Murder the monster. Ha ha. Thank you. Bap. Bap. What the five fingers say to the face? Thwack! Thwack! Punch it to do! You think you can just shimmy shammy your way over here? Olimar's, Olimar's kicking ass and taking names. Or rather, he's punching ass. Also, you don't seem to actually be trying to fight back in any regard. It seems you're... It's like you think you're being attacked by Pikmin and are trying to shake them off of you. As if your AI perhaps was not programmed exactly to understand what this exact situation was. Which is interesting. But all right, Olimar will slowly but surely punch you in the ass until you die. If it, if it can help prevent Pikmin deaths, then there you go. All right, so that's a bit of an issue. We kind of need those things to be dead. Oh, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, if I go with the purples... And I try to be smarter about it. I might be able to make this work. Maybe. For the record, uh, I want to point out that I was not expecting the purple Pikmin to actually cling on to that giant bulb orb. Or, I guess, the normal size bulb orb, because that's how they're supposed to look. But, um, I wasn't expecting them to cling on. I thought they were just going to do their normal sumo slam down and stun technique when they were fighting that thing. And that's why that, thing whole, that whole thing fell apart real fast for me. So, that's me not fully remembering and understanding a situation. There we go! There we go! That's absolutely wonderful. Now, if we could just have lightning strike in the exact same place for a second time. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Guys, run. Okay! All right! The purples done did a fantastic job! Hell to the yes! Good job, guys! Okay, that should free us up. There shouldn't be anything else, at least immediately, obviously, around that want to mess with us. So, no big worries. I'll just take over this entire TV antenna as you scare the actual poop out of me. My god! Do not drop eggs from above. I don't care if they have nectar in them. I appreciate it, but don't do that. My god. All right, yep, you guys go ahead and just do that. And then we'll go over here and get... I'm not sure if this is a party hat or a party popper. I think it's, I think it's a popper. Stop! I appreciate it, but stop it. It's all too possible there could have been some nefarious demons in there. And there we go. The sulking antenna. I mean, doesn't really seem to be sulking in any regards, but... You know, whatever. You can name these things whatever you want to name them, man. Making no difference to me. I'm not the, I'm not the, you know, interplanetary explorer here. Or, you know, repurposed package delivery salesman. Or package delivery? That sounds like you're selling salesmen. That's not a thing that you can do. At least, not something that you should be able to do. All right. Uh, kind of hard to tell. If I could see the bottom of this thing. Oh, hang on. A boom cone. There we go. It won't let me see the bottom of this thing, but yeah, there's the string to pull it. Yeah. No, that that that's a that's a party popper. You you grab it and you go pop, and it goes everywhere. Bunch of bunch of a it happens an animal crossing a whole bunch. You know that that good stuff. Let's see. Where's the way out of this place? Over yonder, of course. I knew that. Don't even try and act like I didn't. You know the. Bizarre news about this whole thing is I have more purple Pikmin with me right now than when I came in with. It's because of that candy pop bud, yes, but still, it's it's strange to be able to say that. 
Also, by nature, I, I should have even more. If none of them died, then this wouldn't have been a thing. Very unfortunate. Anyway, oh boy, it's brightly lit. It's the final floor. It's a big boy. All right, yep, that's the big mamma jamma, lamma hamma fella from another mother. Oh God, yep, that's exactly what I was worried about. All right, hang on a second here. All right, please stop being all, all, all zippy zappy. All right, grab that. And then grab this. Gra yep, there we go. Grab the egg and grab the, the donut. There we go, there we go, there we go. We need to, we need, did someone die? Somebody died, I, I don't know how or, or why. All right, that's odd. I, I'm, I'm sorry to whoever done went and died. I, I don't know how that happened. All right, well, there you go. That's an entire egg, so that's nice. A hideous victual, all right. Interesting that, interesting that. Now, if I could just very quickly murder. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, actually, I knocked over the beetle. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, if I could just kill these dudes before it becomes a thing. Why is the donut not worth much? All right, sweet dreamer. Okay, okay. All right, that's not really where I was going with that, but cool, cool. All right, there we go. There we go. Well, we want what we want. No, purple. No, absolutely not. All right, that's all of the obvious out of the... Uh, uh, standing in the middle of nowhere out in the open. There we go. Out in the open treasures. That's all of the out in the open treasures. So we shouldn't have to worry too much about that anymore. Unless that is also one that I, I think it might be a piece of baloney. I'm not 100% sure. All right. Nope. 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 Yeah. Killing this thing is going to be a bit of a, an adventure and a half, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. There we go. There we go. As long as there's enough corpses that this thing wants to try and drag over back to its little bread bug abode, it won't be too much of an issue. There we go. There we go. Once again, much like so. Oh, it looks like we might actually be able to kill in just two. That'll work. I'm totally okay with that. Like, dead? Yeah, dead. All right, cool. Oh, and for the record, yes, by all accounts, that was a boss. Technically, that was a boss. Huh. Processing. How bizarre. An item appears to have fallen out of that freakish creature. Kind of rude to call it that, but then again, I am calling bullborbs horrible things today, too, so who am I to start playing, you know, hypocrite? I, I shouldn't be doing that. It must have been a greedy beast to swallow something like this. All right, then. Is this everybody, then? It is. All right, then. So... All right. Yeah. All right. That, that's good. We'll just bring that over then. And then when they're done with that, they can grab that. And that, my friends, will be incredibly helpful. You're about to find out how and why it's incredibly helpful. Dun, 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 dun. Dream material. It is a... I always thought it was a pencil eraser. This intriguing material does not conduct electricity. It is far more advanced than the material I was researching. How frustrating. Uh, a spacesuit made from this wonder alloy would insulate the wearer from electrical shocks. Excellent! This new material has allowed me to complete my anti-electrifier. It is my own invention, with only the smallest iota of outside inspiration. Surely. I have reconfigured your suits with this new material. They will now protect you from electricity. There we go. Now we don't got to worry about getting electro zapped no more. Always, always, always a really good thing. And I was right. That thing over there, that is like a piece of baloney or something. All right. Well, we don't really need to. We don't really need to care about any of those zappy beetles. No real need to mess with them in any regard, at least. There we go. Pick up the, 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 the meat. Pick up the meat slab. There we go. There you go. Just bring it on over. Not really what I was going for, but thanks for that, I guess. Oh, that one's already been fixed up all good, and so is this one? Wow. I don't even remember breaking those things, and you guys done did a great job. Good on ya. And there you go, everybody. It's a big old baloney. Baloney has a first name. It's uh, O-S-T-A-R. I don't know how to, I, I'm not even going to try. The Meat of Champions. Because if I misspell that song, it's going to make, it's going to make me look absolutely... 
Ridiculous. So we're not even gonna bother. We're not even gonna bother. Get over here, little fellow. My goodness. All right. Drink it all up, little fellows. Drink it all up. There you go. We'll try to at least revitalize ourselves that way. And then we make absolutely certain to not accidentally throw anybody other than a yellow Pikmin over there to take care of the exit. And that is the Glutton's Kitchen. There we go. Let's get the actual hell out of here forever. <laughs> all right, all right. Gone are the days of being able to go into one of these things without losing any Pikmin whatsoever. But, you know, at least that was the least amount of Pikmin we've lost in a dungeon for a last little while. Maybe. I, I guess I, I don't... I, I'm going to tell myself that and hope that it's true. Alrighty then. I do not, as a matter of fact, know if we'll be able to do anything more with this day, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Yay! Hakobu Tataka, Fuerus, Sosteta, Bella, Lelu.